pitch, a gym, a cafeteria, a car park, and even a children's playground. This is just one of many shelters built into the bedrock beneath Helsinki. Together, these facilities are capable of hosting more than the city's total population. The idea? To protect citizens against any sort of attack. We are trying to uh, assist any kind of weapon effects, so uh, blast proofing and, and gas proofing and, and radiation and, and, and toxic chemicals. So it would go as far as protecting citizens against a potential even nuclear. Even, even nuclear. In peacetime, they are used for a wide range of cultural and sporting activities. Within 72 hours, this space can be converted to shelter 6,000 people. And with Russia's invasion of Ukraine, these bunkers have gained more attention. We have neighbors, and naturally the neighbors might cause us some, some immediate danger. But right now, there is no uh, elevated threat against Finland on, on any point. Even without an imminent security threat, Finland is on the cusp of a historic move, abandoning its decades-old policy of neutrality and preparing to join NATO. These bunkers could serve as inspiration to the country's potential new security partners. That might be the one thing that we could uh, give to NATO and to NATO allies. What else would you like to give to NATO allies? Uh, the finished way of being prepared.